you a Jew instead, if you have read the Torah and um, you saw the inconsistency of message of the concept of God in the Torah and in the New it's Testament? It's not an inconsistency. Um, there, there is a harmony. Uh, is it? Yeah, yeah. So in the concept of God that the Torah has, which is yeah. unipersonal yeah. one God, yeah. is the New Testament giving you unipersonal one in God? The Trinity. See? So you Not believe different it? in that sense. So Fine. So it's a unipersonal deity in the New Testament. So my Christology, um, yeah. which I was taught by a man called Andre Bentrup, uh, thank God, yeah. is um, that God is one, and uh, God has become a man in Jesus Christ. What so does it mean? God has become a man in Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is a man. But what does it mean? God has become. I mean, can God become other than what He is? Um, well, God is a spirit. Right, and as spiritual beings, like we, we have a spirit, right? Yeah. God has the power mm. to um, reflect his being or, or reveal his being in the form of flesh and blood, as well as when you say to eternal. become something, yeah. for example, if you become a tomato, yeah. what does it mean? That sentence, okay. if I say if you become a tomato, yeah. imagine so, now so, I, I, yeah. I, I, I present to someone this is a tomato, yeah, and I say, what was, What's your name, Jacob? Jacob, okay, yeah. now this is Jacob in the form of a tomato. Yeah. What would people understand by that? It, it would be impossible to reflect me in the form of a tomato. Why? Because a tomato is not an animate being, see? A tomato is just dirt. It's just what re, if the tomato speaks? What if it speaks? Water. Well, that's not possible. There is no speaking tomato. So a tomato has totally different constituents and characteristics yeah, yeah, of yeah. a human being. Yeah, but... What but about with, God with and humans? Man, yeah. Man is made in God's image. So, so in man, there mm -hmm. is a reflection of God. Okay. When you say reflection, look, um, when God becomes an image, something. An image. When you, when you become something, do you still remain what you are and, and, and you also become something else? Like, say, you know... Okay, that's a good question. Like, in the, in the miracle, for instance, because it's the same Greek that's used, um, when, the, when the water became wine, mm. was the wine still water? Well, technically, there's an element of it that is still water. No, it's transformed it the, chemically. Yeah, but it has the chemical, the different chemical amount. No, it's changed. It's no longer water. When you um, chemically trans, trans... I mean, technically, it still has the component of water in it, but it, but it also has the component of mm. ethanol and so on and so forth. Water is H2O. Yeah, and if you yeah, have ethanol yeah. and, yeah, and but, but methanol, whatever might be, but that's it, different. Right? It's not just pure ethanol. It has, it's, it's a mix of different chemicals, right? Yeah, so but it's it got some additional chemicals. properties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, so, so when, saying, God, yeah. when God becomes a man, man, which is not yeah. God, what happens to God? Does God well, add something of his characteristics, of a human characteristic to himself that um, he didn't initially possess? Uh, it says that he revealed himself in the flesh. So God is not flesh, okay? But he has revealed himself in flesh. So, so now we see God with us as opposed to um, the transcendent eternal God. That eternal God has become a man. See? And still possess the absolute perfection of divinity? Well, that, that's a good point. Like, so in the life of Christ, um, it says that he grew in wisdom and stature before men and God. So, so there's, there's a change in, 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 there's a growth in his being. Mm. So um, at the end, of, in Hebrews, it says that, um, that he, 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 he learned obedience through suffering. And it, it talks about his perfection. So, so Christ, the moment where he fully proclaimed the Father in the flesh was in his death uh, on the cross. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand when you have God with divine perfection, perfection yeah. of his attributes, yeah. and become something other than what he is, yeah. I find that sentence not very coherent because if you, if you are infinite, yeah. You cannot become finite. It's, it doesn't make any sense. But Jesus says that the Father is greater than I, right? Now let's understand one thing. Yeah. Can the infinite become finite, conceptually? Um, well, well, in terms of Christ's life, I, I don't want to get too, you know, stuck on. Before you go into, before you go into stuff. Christ, yeah. let's talk about God in His being. God is absolute. Yeah. Can He become non-absolute? Less than absolute. Um, well, Christ's mercy on the cross mm. is an eternal mercy. Leave so, Christ for a little, yeah, little but while. I have to explain myself because. But before, before you bring a, a candidate of who has God become, yeah. let's talk about God as He is. Yeah. He is perfect in His attributes, mm. perfect in His knowledge, in His power, in His wisdom, in His will. Mm. Yeah. So He's absolute without any deficiencies and weaknesses. So yeah. if He is eternal, 
with no beginning, everlasting with no end, he will remain like that. He will not become yeah. less than everlasting. Yeah. He will not become something that is going to cease to exist tomorrow. Yeah. yeah? So if he is all knowledgeable, mm. he's not going to become less than all knowledgeable. Yeah. Because by his very nature, mm. he's all knowledgeable. Yeah. His knowledge has no limitation. Yeah. It's not a past, present and future limitation okay. imposed. Sure. So, so, so when he becomes something, yeah. you would expect that transition that is happening, he will remain, he will still have those divine attributes of perfection within him, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so whatever he becomes, that thing that he has become now, will still possess full divinity. Okay, so it, it depends how you're defining div divinity, right? Perfection of all his divine attributes. Less. Yeah, I, I just want to break it down a bit because you know when we speak in these general terms, it's hard to really know what's being said. So, so, so in terms of God is a is a being, right? Like God is God is God. Yeah, he, he has a, a a will. He has a um, a uh, a power. Like you have a will and a power. You know, it's it's limited. But God's, what about God's will? God's and will power? is eternal. What's what God's will? Is it limited? Um, God's will, like. Is it limited or independent? Um, when you mean, okay, is God's will limited or independent? God's will, I mean, I'd have to frame that in terms of what God has done. Because no, no, what God in is. His will, what God yeah, is. how would you know God unless you, unless you had a conception of His will? So we see His will through what Can you done. imagine a God who has a constraint in His will imposed yeah, yeah, by yeah, someone but, else? Yeah, but, but you're, you're speaking of a transcendence that is not actual because you're saying like the will of God. What do you mean the no, will no, no. of God? When God when I, when to I give say, you when I say the will of God, to, I mean for instance it's God's will that we don't murder. It's to God's give you to give you an example, adultery. God's it's relative to, to us. give you an example of God's will. God wills to create something. Yeah, and, and that tells us something about God. Let's right? understand what yeah. I mean by will. So is His will constrained by another entity which says you cannot will that? No. So His will is sovereign. Yeah. It's independent. Yeah. Right. So He has sovereign over his will yeah sovereignty over his power and knowledge yeah he's all knowledgeable yeah all right so when he becomes yeah. something is he also sovereign in his will um, well the Bible teaches that the, the head of Christ is the father so, so there's an authority and God the father the eternal spirit becoming a man that man is still subject to God so, uh, you misunderstood my question yeah. my question is I'm not interested in talking to you grow up and we can have a talk I'm Jacob oh, you well. um, I'm well but I'm not interested in talking to you for a reason um, I told you we um, are having a chat so we're having a chat you're a Christian uh, yes well oh. then if you're a Christian be respectful that we're having a chat thank you Absolutely. thanks Jacob I just want to yeah. make sure that, you know, yeah, I'm just saying that, you know, just interrupting a chat, that's not, that's not respectful. Okay. Thank you, Jacob. Sorry, so, to continue. So, I know, it's fine. It's, I'm just saying as a, as a fellow Christian, I don't you think... I don't, I don't. Huh? You rather I'm not here. No, no, not at all. I'm just, to interrupt a conversation is rude. Okay. Yeah. I won't do that. I shouldn't. Thank you. I, I do it too sometimes. I just yeah, shouldn't. Yeah. It's good. So to, to continue. So when I say after, yeah. yeah. When I say about God yeah. and his sovereignty, yeah. so when God becomes something other yeah. than what he is, yeah. his sovereignty of will yeah. still should remain. Well, he should not I lose mean, his sovereignty, I mean, would he? I, sorry. You, okay, when God becomes something that he is not, you know, what you're saying here. In Hebrews 1 3, I'm just going to quote it, it helps, it gives me something. If, if that up. helps clarifying it, it, it says that, um, that, 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 that Christ, the Son, is an image of God's glory and an engraving of his hypostasis, his understanding. So, so, whatever God is, whatever stands under God as his foundation, mm -hmm. it has been engraved. In, in flesh as a human being see? so 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 when you say he's become something that he's not is if, if, if human God beings, in his nature wasn't flesh to begin with right yes but human beings in their nature are made in the image of God and we have spirits no, what, what so I'm this saying human for clarification spirit purposes and flesh has been born out of whoever God is yeah so God isn't wasn't flesh to begin with so he acquired this form yeah some point in time this acquiring of flesh, which is an addition I, to his nature. I, I don't know if acquiring of flesh would be in my terminology. What is it then? He's be, he became flesh. He became flesh. So Fine. So there's a, there's a change in his nature because his original nature wasn't one of a possessor of flesh. When you say the word nature, you're talking about chemical substances. No. In terms of, but what I mean by nature is his nature as a being. Let me tell you what so I mean his by nature. nature as a being has become 
into a man. So his his being is in a man. No. God, do you believe God has essence? I don't like that word. It's, okay. It, in terms of, I use try to use biblical words. Which is? And essence is a is a. Greek what what, what word. is the biblical word you're using? Uh, hypostasis. What does it mean? Standing under. It's like. Uh, okay, say you have a vat of, of chemicals or, yep. or, or dirt, and there's a sludge at the bottom. Whatever that soup of, 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 of um, mi minerals are in that vat, has been the substance of it is down there at the bottom. Substance. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. Right. But, but it's like so. Let's talk about. Let's it. talk about what makes God God. It's the substance, right? Yeah. Right. So the substance that God is made, whatever it's made of, God is made of. Yeah. It didn't compose of flesh initially, right? No, but the, the thing that you're like, you're talking about uh, God's substance as as physical things. No, I'm not. It, I'm saying, at one in His eternal reality okay, of existence. So, 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 what was God? What is God in His eternal? I, I'm, I'm just telling yeah. you. Let me in know. His eternal existence, yeah. before He became flesh, yeah. it was not with flesh. No. Exactly. So in that, but in that, that said, in that pre-existence, He has changed His what makes him what he is he's well, now well, he changed, changed, changed into something different he hasn't changed because the father when he when he becomes a man mm -hmm. that man is distinct from the father you see so what so, so, so let, let's just finish that point so when jesus is praying to the father god hasn't changed when he's become a man he's still he's still god in heaven but now a man is walking around on the earth so he, in addition to what he has in so in addition to his divine essence or substance yeah He's now got an additional substance, which is flesh, which he didn't possess earlier on. So this is an yeah. additional thing to his, what makes what he is. So in that point, yeah. I'm asking, in that transition or transformation, yeah. does he still retain sovereignty of will? Uh, does he still retain sovereignty of will? Well, the eternal father in heaven is still retaining sovereignty of will. The son, the, 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 the man that has become out of God. What right? is the son in relation to the, the one in heaven? Yeah, he's the, the, the God, God that has become flesh. No, no, There's the one who is in heaven, you said father. Yeah. So the father is in heaven who hasn't changed. Yeah, yeah. So what has changed on earth? What has changed? Yeah. Um, flesh has come out of the Holy Spirit. No, no. The, remember, father is up there. Yeah. But you've got something in addition to the Father. You lie about the Christian faith, we really well, I mean, I mean that's part of the mystery for me. I don't want to use mystery as a as a kind of spooky word, but it says that in Matthew one twenty that uh, that which is um, begotten in her, Mary, uh, begotten means fathered, is out of the Holy Spirit. So, yeah. so the flesh of Christ actually came out of God. I, so I don't know. What so, I mean. so now you have the Father, yeah. and the Father has produced or generated something. Yeah, generated a, 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 a son. Yeah. So, so the father has generated something out of himself. Out of himself. Yeah. That so that, would that generate that generated entity, or do you call it hypostasis? Yeah. Is it still retaining his sovereignty of will? Uh, sovereignty of will, like. I mean, define what you mean by, is he retaining the sovereignty like, of will? Like, he was sovereign in his will before, Yeah. there was no restriction of his will. Yeah, yeah. When he transforms into a yeah. flesh, yeah. does he still retain the sovereignty of will? Well, that's why Jesus is called the Christ, because he's the, the false power of the Spirit of God hmm. has been laid upon him. So, Jesus, by the will of the Father, Jesus said, I, I asked the Father, he'll give me a legion of, 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 of angels, right? So Jesus can ask the Father to do anything when, when he has that So power. what is the answer? Does so, he retain so the, sovereignty the sovereignty of will? Well, the answer is yes, because if it's his will to ask the Father for this or for that or for anything... Did he say, not according to my will, but your will? Yeah, because, there you go. Because even though as a man, he has a will, as, as, a, as God become a man, he also, there's the will of the Father in heaven, no, which he subjects himself to. Remember, have remember to. the Father have to. Father is not the one in question and dispute. Yeah. Something is generated from yeah. the Father, yeah. and you consider this generation something that what God has become. Now, yeah. anything that is generated from the Father should also have this similar kind of attributes or characteristics or the substance of the Father. Yeah. If that is even possible for a generation to happen. Yeah. So now you have this generated flesh says, I can't do it for myself. Yeah. I, only, I only do what my father tells me to. Yeah. And not according to my will, but my father's will. Yeah. So now we have subserviency yeah. of a will. Not sovereignty, yeah. being subservient. So now you have a problem. You have the sovereignty of will, and you have another entity that's now generated, which is subservient. Yeah. 
How do you reconcile that? There's no need to reconcile it because God is giving Christ all things, it says in the New Testament. So as he lives his life, there's an eternal life of the Christ. And as he's living his life, he's growing, he's maturing, he's being perfected in, 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 in the form of, of flesh, a human. And then he is ascending to heaven to sit on the throne of God. So, 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 so there's a generation, a, a beginning of the Son in a sense in time, but it says in Peter that God has always foreknown what he will do in Christ. So, so the this, Son is, is always this in generated the Son, sense. This yeah. generated Son, does it possess the perfect attributes of the... Well, when he ascends the, the to sit on the throne, he, he's given the full authority to like be in the Spirit and go anywhere. Does he, does he, always, does he always possess attributes of perfection? With, without any deficiency uh, and limitation. Always, I mean, okay, when Jesus is a baby, he's not um, yet ready to go on the cross, you know, it's not going to happen. Is he knowledgeable um, when he was a man for 33 years? Uh, I mean, it says in the Bible about um, children not knowing, but in, in Deuteronomy it says, you know, that, that the children with you don't know between I'm not talking about children, evil. when he was a man. No, no, no but, but you're right, like, when Jesus is a baby, he doesn't know, I mean, this is like, you know, hip stack union or this this is the theology of the church i don't subscribe does to it make again. sense no it doesn't make sense fine that's what i'm yeah. saying so yeah. now you have a generated entity which a you man. call hypostasis a man, a man yeah. flesh in the man and this man is not all knowledgeable of the hour for example when the world's going to come to an end yeah because he himself says about that hour no one knows yeah, father, not even the angels yeah. not even the son but the father yeah so you have now need to explain rationally and coherently yeah how do you have something that's generated from himself? Yeah. The creation is not part of God, like some of the perennialists or Hindus may believe, right? Yeah, yeah. So you have a generated hypostasis or, or a flesh or man, which yeah. you call Christ or Jesus, yeah. who is less than divine yeah. because doesn't possess all the attributes of perfection. Well, well, he's not less than divine because the divinity, like it says in Colossians, has a bodily dwelling in him. So, is he all knowledgeable? Okay, so, so we're going to get to that, okay? Um, in terms of as a baby, no, he's not all knowledgeable. No, as a man, when he was 33 years old. Okay, as a man on the cross, mm. he's knowledgeable of the Father's will. He, he has a about the hour. knowledge. About the hour. Uh, um, it, about the hour? No, he doesn't know the hour right. because the Father's kept that in so, his own So let's, let's think about this. Yeah. If you are God to begin with, yeah. you have no limit or no restriction put by anything. There can not be any agent yeah. who can put but a restriction Jesus says no. the father is greater than I so let's understand so, something before you no. say that yes he so, is in the form so, of a man so if you have this generated man yeah. this generated man cannot be in any way shape or form divine because divinity yeah. belongs to God alone with all perfection you cannot have a, like a 50% God or 20% God. It doesn't make sense. If you're God, you're fully God, you're yeah, not God. Yeah, but, 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 but there's a fallacy here. And the fallacy, what is that fallacy? The fallacy is this. I, I don't know, red hair and whatever. The fallacy is this, is that you're equate, maybe it's black and white fallacy, like you're equating divinity with eternity, with all of this. No, I'm not. But, but the divinity of I'm not. God in the Bible is actually his heart, like who he actually is. No, I'm, so, so I'm ascribing divinity the, the to the quality, quality of, God, of perfection. His eternity, his, you know, Perfection. Yeah, so Do I you agree? Christ is perfect. Do you yeah. agree God is perfect in his attributes? Um, yeah. Right. Yeah, Perfection means he has no deficiency in his attributes. Yeah. If he has power, there cannot be no one more powerful no, than that, him. That's, okay. So, Do you agree? There cannot be no one more you're, powerful you're, than the Father. Do you agree? Um, yeah, yeah, I do. But Christ has displayed his perfection in weakness. On, and, and, and wait, 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 wait. Christ became so Let's understand weak, perfection so first. Despised, Let's understand perfection there's, first. There's an immense strength in that. Let's there's understand perfection first. Perfection means if God has knowledge, there's no restriction in his knowledge. He cannot be somehow ignorant even for one second. Okay. Do you agree? Okay, I, I want to... No, no, do you, do, you, do you agree first the, of all? In the Bible, when it comes to no, knowledge about God. It. In the Bible, it says God is love. Right. So, so when you talk about, uh, you know, the perfection of his attributes and um, when you talk about, uh, you know, the, the volition of his will and all of this, mm -hmm. God is love, eternal love. That, that's what the Bible says. So he loves so, so everything that, and everyone unconditionally? No, he hates the wicked. So, so God love doesn't mean his love is a, is a condition attached to his love. Um, his love is complete. It's perfect. Conditional. He loves conditionally. It's a perfect love. So perfect love casts out what is what is not love. Right. What about his knowledge? Um, 
I, does I he just, have perfect I just want to stay with the love of No, no, it's important that you, you engage with the best argument against your belief rather than something that you're comfortable with. So no, the argument not, I'm presenting... Not, I'm, you're presenting a Jacob, God that I'm, I don't... No, no, yeah. I am presenting an yeah. argument against the theology of Christianity, which is incoherent in my view when we decide and talk about its characteristics about knowledge, for example. So let's see if you can coherently explain the knowledge of God. Do you agree God's knowledge is perfect, meaning he has no deficiency in his knowledge? Can I answer that once I finish my point about love? Go ahead. Okay. So in terms of love, God is love. The eternal love of God has, has, has become a man and has been demonstrated in his mercy in the face of complete destruction. He's forgiven his torturers, okay? So, so that eternal love is an image of God, see? So when you talk about his will and, and so on and so forth, you're missing the point. The point is it's God's will that the creation is full of goodness and love. That's his will. Okay, now answer the question about knowledge. Yeah, but, but I mean, it's, it's just funny that like, you say these words and these phrases and... W why are you so uncomfortable to talk about the knowledge no, of we'll God? talk about it. Let's right, about it. so okay. <laughs> do you consider, Jacob, yeah. God's knowledge is perfect without any deficiency? Do I consider that God's knowledge is perfect? Yeah, of course, he is all-knowing. Right, so all knowledge means he knows the past, the present and the future, and out of this whole, if you, you know, time phases, there's nothing ever that God's going to be even ignorant for even in a millisecond. Do you agree? Yeah. Any point, of, yeah. any point but, of time. Yeah. But, but you have the concept of knowledge that refers to um, like the relative attributes, okay? Oh, let me, but but let, knowledge... But let me knowledge, help you explain with an knowledge example. Knowledge is not limited let me to give relative you, attributes. Let me give you an example. The, let me finish what I'm saying. The expression of form, like in the world, okay, is, is seeded in, 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 in things that are not seen. So for instance, like, you know, we're standing on the earth because of gravity even though uh, you know I, I I see everyone standing on the earth it doesn't require that I see all of this to know that there is gravity you see so, so there's so there's a seed of, of, of reality that is and we are the expression of that reality well it's okay, it's okay. yeah yeah, so, yeah but so what I'm saying is let him the, finish, knowledge, I, I, the knowledge in the continue. Christ as a baby or so and so forth is 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 relative to um, yeah, it's relative to what he's seeing, okay? But that doesn't mean that in his heart, there isn't the perfection of knowledge. Let me give you an yeah. example. Your name, is, your name is Jacob, right? Yeah. God, would he ever forget your name even for a fraction of a second? No. Never? He would never be ignorant of your name. No, no but it agree? says in the Bible that God will blot out the no, name no, no, of the no. wicked. In so. the knowledge of God, God will always know your name. Yeah. There will not be a time where God is ignorant about your name. He thinks like, hang on, what was his name, by the way? Um, he's not going to do that because he's all knowledgeable. He will always know your name. There will be not even a fraction of a billionth of a second yeah. that he's ignorant of your name, Jacob. Yeah. Good. Does he know so, your name before you're born? Brother, it's okay, it's okay. Let's not complicate it. It's okay, brother, it's okay. So now, so now you have God's all knowledge or his omniscience is such that he remains 100% knowledgeable at 100% of time, all yeah. times. Yeah. Right. So when this generated thing, this generated, generated person or a flesh or a human or a man or Christ, whoever that is, he says, of that hour and of that day, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, not even the son, but only the father. Yeah. He's referring to not even the son to himself, right? Yeah. Even the son doesn't know. So if someone admits that they don't know by themselves in their own admission, yeah. they could not be perfectly knowledgeable in the past. Because yeah. if you are perfectly knowledgeable in the past, you will always be perfectly knowledgeable in the yeah. present, this, in the future. Yeah, this, so that means yeah, okay, this, fine, this, yeah. this generated man yeah. is not perfect in his knowledge. Yeah, this is how I know you're rehashing an argument because I've clearly already said to you that Jesus said the Father is greater than I. But I've clearly already no, said I'm that. No, I'm talking about the no, generation. No, let me finish, let me finish please. So, so in terms of God becoming a man, according to everything that a man can be, God has become into that man. And additionally, he's also Christed, anointed that man with the fullness of his spirit. Okay. You misunderstood what I said. No, no, no. Let, let me finish, okay? Finish because, and I'll tell you what, what you misunderstood. This argument of, oh, is Jesus qualitatively, uh, is, is he like, does he have the properties of God? Okay. But I'm saying to you that God, in the, in the fullness of who he is, in his heart, is reflected in, in Christ. An image has I'm been not talking about the Father. Engraved. I think you're okay. mistaken. The Father is not in dispute. It's okay, brother. Please have okay, patience. So, so, so the Father me, is not in dispute. Yeah, so let me, the let one me that is my point before you, before you say this. Go ahead. Go ahead. If, I, if I write down, if I speak these words to you, okay? Yeah. 
and, and where have they come from? They, they come from the heart. Like Jesus says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, okay? So, so are, the wor are the words, say you wrote down what I just, is it actually what's in it? No, the, the, the graphe, the engraving of it, is, is, is only a, an image of what's in it that I'm bringing forth, you see? So same with the Christ, with Jesus, is that God's spirit has engraved God into flesh. Or and what about, flesh, what about the divine part? The divine part. Does the flesh has anything divine in it? Um, it says in, in 1 Corinthians 15 that he is the man from heaven. He's a heavenly man. So the divinity, so whatever God is, has a bodily dwelling in Christ because his, his flesh is perfect. Remember what you're saying? Yeah. So he has a bodily divine dwelling. Yeah. That means the body is just a vessel of the divinity. So that means the divine is within the body. So you'd expect the divine, which is unknowledgeable, to be already yes, within but, the body of Jesus why, Christ. Why is the body of Christ the fit vessel to hold the fullness of divinity? That's not it's my because question. The vessel That's not perfect. my question. You're going away from the question I'm asking. No, brother, please, please, please. Please, brother, please, please, okay? Please, if you don't mind, right? So, you have the divine indwelling with the body. That divine cannot be put a limit to. Because you can't put a limit to the divine, because the divine is absolute. Yeah, and, and it says, so, okay, yeah, yeah, let's finish, great, we're getting there. So that, that, the Spirit of God, it says in, in Romans that by the eternal Spirit, Jesus offered himself up. Okay? So that's his Spirit. So, so there was a perfection of Christ, it says in the Bible. In knowledge? Uh, in, 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 in divinity. In knowledge? In terms of knowledge, like, yeah, Jesus ascended to the throne and all things, all while he was on, was given. While he was on earth, was yeah. he perfect in his knowledge? This divine that is indwelling. If your, if your definition of perfect in knowledge is more referring to complete in knowledge, then no, because he didn't know the day or the hour. Can God so be incomplete in his knowledge? Um, can God be complete in his knowledge? Incomplete in his knowledge. Incomplete in his knowledge. Well, I'm saying that the Son of God, while ascending to the throne. Think about it. A being yeah, that yeah, is described as God. You're not listening to me. Be Go ahead. Because you're rehashing an argument that you've done a hundred but times. But are you, are you addressing my question? I'm addressing your question in a manner that you're not accepting, because I'm okay. saying to you, that Once you finish, summarize and, and, and tell and Peter me. Peter says this, he says, he has been made both Lord, which means God, and Christ. You see? It says in Isaiah, he is the mighty God. So, 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 but even that word, like, it means judge in, in Hebrew, Elohim, El, okay? It means judge. So he's become the almighty power in heaven. So, so yes, there, there's a birth of the Christ, there's a maturing of the Christ, there's, there's a perfection of the Christ, there's a lifting up of the Christ, there's a, there's a, there's a dedication of the Christ to the perfect will of God, and then there's a, a, a resurrection of the Christ, an ascension of the Christ, and, and, and an enthronement of the Christ. You see? So, so, Do you know so, what you've just done? Charge, what? Charge. Okay. Instead of addressing the question about perfection and completion of knowledge, you talked about everything else besides knowledge. Is, is Christ now perfect in... Wait, wait. Well, okay, here's a, before, before. No, here's a good question. When Christ, when the second coming comes and Jesus returns and judges the living and the dead, will he be complete in knowledge then when he knows what the do you day say? and what the do hour? You say? I say yes. Fine. Is because it... Jesus said this, that the Father teaches me all things. Okay? What? What? He says, I learn from the Father. Let's accept okay? that in his second coming, he will be complete in his knowledge, right? Yeah. Could God be incomplete in his knowledge at any time? Jesus says at the second coming, will hand back the, the kingdom to the Father, you see. You misunderstood and, my and question Jesus again? Jesus is saying, my God. He, he's referring so to... So you misunderstood the, my yeah. question again. The second coming of Christ, his knowledge will be complete. I understand and I understood what you yeah, said. So tell it, tell but my, in terms of completeness of all time, the Christ is perfect in his But knowledge. my question is not this. Hear my question carefully. My question is, any being that is God, can this being be incomplete in his knowledge at any time? Not second coming or the third coming, any time. I'm saying to you, and, and you're attacking a Trinitarian. I no, I'm not, not attacking Trinitarian. Trinitarian. I'm attacking Christ. the generated being, which you call flesh, which you call Christ. So anything that's generated yeah, from God. God. Yeah. Yes. So now explain to us again, coherently, yeah. does God ever become incomplete in his knowledge at any time? Is no. it possible? No. Is it possible? No. No. So it's not possible. So Jesus Christ or the flesh, yeah. was he complete in his knowledge while he was on this earth? 
I've tried to say something to you that you And which one? What was the answer, by the way? I'm saying that the seed of perfection that is in God... Because you said it already. ...has become a man and is maturing Jacob, into a plant. Jacob, you, you so, said it already. So, no, no, no. Let, let me, um, let me, let, let's let's hear from the audience. Let, let, let me can God increase his knowledge? Because you're taking what he's saying the other way. He's saying God's knowledge is not incomplete. The other thing is, can God increase in knowledge? I'm trying to say to you... No, can you answer no, that no, question? Because you said there's a seed... You're, you're trying to pigeonhole me into a, 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 a method of debate, which is philosophical in nature. It's actually Greek in, in its need, nature. No, no, it doesn't need to and, be. And, and, and what I'm trying to tell you is that there's a, there's a seed that's okay. come forth from God and it's maturing into the fullness okay, of God. Can I ask you the simple, very that's simple, saying, three simple. questions, just human. Can God do anything? Can God do anything? Yeah. Yes. Okay, he can. Can God make himself not God? Uh, God has become a man. Yeah, so when so he I does said, that, can yeah. he make himself a man and not God? Um, can you do that? I, I don't feel like it's No, it's a very simple. Because you're saying... The thing is, wait, 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 you're, you're wait, expecting wait, me to wait, have an answer. No, 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 I'm not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just telling you the logic of what you're telling me. That's right. You're telling me that I don't speak God to someone who doesn't know anything about himself it. Temporarily. So go and learn no, and we can talk. Well, I think I have learned a few Which means I don't think you do. Sorry, I can't talk to you because I don't think you know anything about it. No, no, no. I mean, I don't think... I don't agree with what you're so wait, what, why, why, why are you wasting your time with me? Man, yeah. Go and learn yeah. and we can talk. Still take, take another two when years and come back. Was a baby, what, what, what yeah, yeah. Is that good enough? Yeah. I didn't say ten years, it's a two years only. Yeah. 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 Because trees can get worshipped and cows can get worshipped. I don't talk to people who are ignorant on a subject and they want to present about it. I don't want to talk to someone who is ignorant on the subject. As I said, take your time, take your time, learn about the subject. Okay. And okay. those okay. Let's do both. Okay. Let's do a debate okay. now, yeah. and you can refute me now, you and then I will learn, bucket, and then you can refute me again. Do you know edition. enough about the yeah. subject? Is it fair? I want to ask you some questions. Hang on. Do you know enough about the subject to have a debate? I need. I mean, is it fair? In a sense, I do have a free standard. No, I'm sorry. Why are you setting the standard for that? It's important because debating. Why am I not saying it? Why are you part of the truth? Because it's my debate. If you want to debate with me, I'm asking you. Okay. Anyway. So. Okay. Fine. Sorry. Sorry. Please address me. See you later. So, Jacob. As we are saying, I am addressing I am addressing the question about Yeah, we'll have a chat. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can have a chat with them, right? Okay, just Yeah, yeah, we will, we will. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll be done in a minute. I'm okay. not gonna Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But my personal advice to you, yeah. stay away from hate preachers and then you can have a very good discussion to the Muslims. I I, I yeah? Jesus said, Do you know I, every I week judge every week what I see Exactly you know, every I, I, week I'm not gonna take your word for it, I'll see it and Exactly it myself, yeah. wise man, wise man. So now no, as a wise man, as a wise as a wise man, okay fine. You're not wise. No worries, Jacob. Whoever you are, that's fine. You, you, you are a decent human being. I think. See, see a man who is wise in his own eyes. There's more hope for a fool than him. Okay, but other people can see you are wise, right? Okay, you're a foolish then. Whatever. Or you're, I mean, you're not. Neither. To God, I'm a fool. You know. Okay, fine. We all are. So, do you consider God? can be incomplete at any time? You said the answer was no. So now let's understand what you mean by that. You mean God in his knowledge will remain complete in his knowledge for all times. So even something is generated from God, that generated thing, which is a flesh, should still retain this completion of knowledge. Because if you think God creates something, God can create something like human beings yeah. with limited knowledge. Yeah. You are a creation yeah. and you do not possess the same Knowledge no. as God, because God creates you to like this with a limitation. Well, actually, it says that we've been um, we, we, we've been given the fullness of, of revelation in Christ. So, yeah, but you're so, not. So I have but the you're seed not, of the fullness. But you're of not. You're God, not fully yeah. divine, are you? No. But Thank I you. Have the seed of God. Whatever that means, food. you you are not like God in His full divinity. No, no. Good. But it says in the Bible we become. Why are you even? Of God. Why are you even yeah. arguing in something that we both agree? You do not have full knowledge of no, God, not, not full in, power of not God. In terms of the Father's ability. But, but as I mature as a Christian... Are you all knowledgeable like God? No, no. Are you all powerful like God? No. Then why no. are you even arguing? No, no. It's the I'm same. Just, I'm just trying to say because because, it's irrelevant, because you're, you're saying, saying it's black and white. It's not, it is black and white. No, you're saying it's black and white. It is not. But what I'm saying to you is that the Father in heaven has had a son, and the son is maturing. I mean, coming, God. I'm I'm saying um, it is impossible. It says, he, he, uh, it says that Peter Peter said that he has uh, been made both Lord and Christ. brother. So if you, if you don't mind, because he's going to look for no, ways to divert. On the throne, yeah. Right. Yeah, so now the question is this. Sorry, it's all right. No, you didn't. Right. 
God's whatever is generated from God in your belief must also be possessor of divine perfection. Otherwise, it will be like a creation that God decides is, to make it. Is full knowledge divine perfection? No, what God what is divine perfection? Is it to know everything? In your no mind? limitation in His attributes. No deficiency in His attributes. Perfection means free from deficiencies and imperfections. Same word, but it means not deficient. When I say God is powerful, His power is not limited. Nothing has greater power than God. That's why we say, In Allah, ala kulli shayin qadir over everything, God has power. Yeah. In your belief, you have got the Father who, who are possessor of who is the possessor of full divinity. Yeah. But anything that's generated from God, even the Holy Spirit. Does the Holy Spirit know everything the Father knows? Uh, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. So, 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 so okay, so let's get theolo theological about it. Like in the Psalms it says that the height of heavens cannot contain you. So 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 the, the glory of God cannot be contained by this creation. So when but when God moves in this creation and acts and performs, you know, he's always working in the creation to, to animate it, to you know, in him we move, we live, we have our being, as Paul says. Um, his spirit that we that we behold when we when we when we encounter the spirit of God whether it's in the, the life of creation itself, whether it's in um, you know, these, these things, okay? Uh, it's, it's just a, it's not the fullness of the Spirit of God. It's just a movement of the Spirit of God. See? Why are you talking about the Spirit I'm not talking about? I'm making a distinction between the Spirit, which is part of this divinity. It's not part of the divinity. What the is Spirit it? Spirit of God, it, Jesus says God is a Spirit. So God is a Spirit, yeah. but the glory what is the Holy Spirit? spirit it's the Spirit of God, I just told you. It says in, uh, in uh, Second is it, Corinthians 3... Is it identical to the Father? Four, 4, 7, that uh, the Lord is the Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit identical to the Father? Um, yeah, yeah. So it's not distinct? No, no. So you have the Father and the Holy Spirit, which are... The, the fullness of the Father, what I'm trying to say, the fullness, like, I have, according to Christian teaching, which I believe, I have a measure of the Holy Spirit. I, I don't have the full glory is of God. Is the Holy God. Spirit a creation of God? Um, it's, 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 it's God, it's part of God. It is, it's so that's God. what I meant earlier, you didn't say, say part of God, now you're saying part of God. God. Because that insinuates that there's consti constituent parts that make up so, God. So what is the I'm Holy just Spirit? I'm saying it's a measure of God. Well, let's understand that. Sense. Is the Holy Spirit a creation? It is, it's the essence. Or did it? That's a great word. Is the Holy Spirit a creation of God or not a creation of God? Uh, the, I just told you. I mean, how clear it can I be? be the Holy creation. Spirit is the Spirit of God. Look, it, it says in the okay. Bible, it says in the Bible that women the cannot teach or have authority over men. I know. I know. So you shouldn't be doing that. Well, well, I'm going to no, that's Jacob. what the Bible says. Oh. It's what the Bible says. Oh. Jacob. 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 Then be obedient to the Bible. Word. I'm not Jacob. Obedient to your Just ignore this background noise. I gave I'm you the word of God, and you're not obedient to the word of God. No, because you don't 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 get distracted by this background noise, right? You can talk to them later. But to continue, the Holy Spirit is either a creation of God or not a creation of God. It's simple. Um, why are you disturbing? This woman is just why are you disturbing? Orthodox, Chalcedon, Nicaea, you have learned it in the church, you're teaching a man, you're told not to, you're actually, you're actually disobeying Christ right now, and you're dishonoring his name. Okay? Just ignore. Just like I'm trying to ignore the background noises. There will be many Christians, Christians in court marks, who will try to also like distract you. Yeah, you're giving Christian teaching to a teacher. And I can't hear you. Okay? I listen yeah. to God. Okay, I want to, I want to and listen you, to you. Okay? In your so, listen to your in terms of whether the question about is the Holy Spirit created or not created, the answer is it's either or. Not created or created. That's you don't believe Holy Spirit is created. Go somewhere else. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's go, go to our side of the You can't stop no, me. You're that just, man. You say I'm you proud, can't but stop you can't be quiet. You can't stop because it's not a conversation. You're interrupting a conversation. We don't need cameras. We can just going to have a conversation. So, because you're rude. Yeah, but well, we've, amassed, we've amassed a few listeners and you want to make a name for thyself Absolutely. like Nimrod and now you're speaking loud and proud. I mean, have we're just I having a general chat. Have I given my name? Do not make assumptions <laughs> on my behalf. I'm going to be Ask me why I Let's won't be quiet. Okay. I think enough's been because said. I've told you the Son of God is a seed of the Word of God, the fullness of the Spirit of God that has become flesh and is maturing and had matured to the fullness of ascending to the throne and ruling with power and authority and as the Lord you and God. And that, is that coherent? And that's what we, that's, 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 uh, I do not have a chat with someone who has no clue about what he's talking about. So go 
and learn and come back again. So just to um, finish, finish up the discussion. Teach me, Mansour. Teach me, Mansour. If I want to teach, come to, come to my lectures and I'll teach you. So just to conclude here with without the background distractions. This is what people do who know they've been caught out. This is what people do when they know they've said things past that have contradicted what others people, have said. People who are so egotistical, having no knowledge of a subject and they want to talk, go and learn and talk about it. So, so we had a gentleman here who was talking about um, we had a chat with an individual here who is a Christian and we saw this individual was not was not able to coherently explain the belief in a generated God okay because he realized you cannot be an incomplete God in a knowledge and Christ was incomplete in his knowledge so instead of accepting that fact that Christ cannot be divine at all ever because God is always going to be all knowledgeable at all times what did you see instead the arrogance and the stubbornness so may Allah protect us from being arrogant and from being stubborn but make us humble to the truth and ready to accept the truth Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Assalamu Alaikum, Warahmatullahi, Wabarakatuh.